Thank you friends for supporting my channel. Actually we can't improve our speed without uh, practicing the hard words before dictation. So please pause this video and practice the words. Okay, I hope you have practiced the words. So the dictation of the day starts now. There is someone who said truth is learning from facts and I am grateful to my colleagues for giving me this opportunity to know first hand what are the inadequacies, what are these challenges that police services face in our country in discharging their onerous duties. I have listened with great respect to the presentations that have been made and I do feel that the time has come when we should be integrating policing also into our planning for development purposes. This old fashioned division between the development expenditure and non-development expenditure has outlined its utility and I will go back and discuss with the planning commission with the home ministry how best we can develop our so called development and the so called non-development sectors of our economy. I do feel listening to the presentations that have been made that there is an urgent need to look into the future what type of police system our country needs in grappling with the challenges that are now on the horizon and where we are how much distance we have to travel in order to ensure that we provide our country a police system which is adequate to the challenges that our country faces. So this is one thing which I would say have in our system five year planning for the defense forces. Para, I would suggest to the Honorable Home Minister that may be time has come we should form a five year or maybe a longer term perspective plan which would take into account the imperative need for upgrading our technology, our human resource strategies and all the other related subjects which have been discussed. In particular, I was very fascinated by a suggestion that in certain insurgency affected areas, police should be involved in development work. I am reminded by what my esteemed friend who was at once time cabinet secretary in the government of India and the chief secretary of Orissa. He told me about the link between the police system and the development works. He said to me that as chief secretary he once received a number of senior police officers and the police officers said that the general perception the public about the police is not very good. We want to do something which would change that perception and so he suggested for the policeman involvement in public works. Para, one thing that I do wish to say is that 80% of the police personnel belong to the category of constables and I think this is certainly true that we have 
not paid adequate attention to ensuring that the constables of the future are being produced by our policing system some years ago i was told in maharashtra that 75% of policemen lives in chols in slum areas where they interact all of the time with criminal elements now out of that policing system you cannot produce men and women of integrity i think there are lot of temptations to fall of the chosen path of goodness so we have to pay a lot more attention to ensuring that we provide adequate facilities for our constables housing facilities certainly have to improved but also training their psychological mental makeup and this also applies to many police schools also the constitutional values of our republic respect for diversity respect for inclusion inclusiveness and a deep and abiding commitment to secular values that people belonging to all faiths have an equal claim to the protection of law and of the these are some of the other issues which i believe ought to receive a lot more attention as we plan for the future for i am very happy to be here today to participate in this interaction with you i have learned a great deal i hope that the home ministry will follow up on the suggestions that have been made find out a list of urgent areas where there is need for immediate action also devise a strategy where we can act may be not immediately but over a period of time a medium and a long term strategy giving our country a police system which is equal to the challenges that our country faces para i have had this chance to sit through the presentations it is heartening for me to note that in spite of the rigorous of your daily routine you have all retained the analytical abilities to understand the problems that lies at the core of your work and come up with possible solutions to improve police administration at the grassroots the ability to analyze and resolve issues in a turbulent and changing world keeping in view the larger national interest is the fundamental reason why this country needs an all india service like yours you have been charged with the enormous responsibility of maintaining law and order and in ensuring peace and security across the length and breadth of our country law and order is fundamental to the existence of a functioning democracy and a civilized society in the country okay thanks Thank you.